Greek mythology is filled with fantastic stories and legends about incredible people. And while many of the names found within these ancient stories are a little too archaic for day-to-day -day use, the vast array of characters means that there's still a lot of inspiration for baby names. Since some of even the most obscure ancient names have been updated, their modern incarnations could make a perfectly charming name for your own little hero or heroine. Sybil Sibylla was a prophetess in Greek legend, and she was an ancient figure even by ancient Greek standards. The original Sibylla was rumored to have lived somewhere in Turkey sometime in the 5th century BC, spouting her prophecies while in the grip of an ecstatic frenzy. By the next century, the name had morphed into the title of Sibyl and was given to all oracles who made prophecies and relayed messages from the gods. Sibyls were also respected by the Romans and even revered as prophetesses by early Christians. As a name, Sibyl became popular in the Middle Ages, although it eventually fell out of fashion. Today, Sibyl's lull in popularity once again makes it a unique name with a long history. Zeno in Greek mythology, Zeus was the chief deity who wielded thunderbolts and sent storms, rain and wind to the earth. While the name Zeus might be a rather unorthodox choice for a baby name, there's an adorable variation derived from the name that feels a little more modern in spite of its ancient roots. Zeno is a shortened version of Xenon, which ultimately comes from Zeus. The father of men and gods alike, Zeus is the all-seeing, all-powerful deity symbolized by the eagle and the thunderbolt. He rewarded good behavior, punished the bad, and was seen as a protector of cities, the home, and the hearth. Even in the ancient world, parents were naming their children after the father god. Several Greek philosophers bore this version of his name. Ariadne There are several women from Greek mythology who bore the name Ariadne. But the most famous was a princess, the daughter of King Minos, who fell in love with the Athenian hero Theseus. She was instrumental to the famous myth of King Minos and the Minotaur, gifting the hero Theseus with a ball of thread and a sword that would allow him to enter the labyrinth, kill the beast and find his way out of the maze again. But she was poorly repaid, abandoned by the hero and left brokenhearted. She eventually caught the attention of Dionysus, god of winemaking and grapes, and was whisked away to marry him. A favorite subject of artists and composers, some scholars also suggest she was worshipped in her own right as a goddess of weaving and spinning. Talia the name Talia is derived from the Greek word to blossom, and it's a slightly modernized version of a name with ancient origins. Talia pops up a couple of times in Greek mythology, most popularly as one of the Nine Muses, a group of sisters who were the goddesses of the arts. As a muse, Talia was the patron of comedy and pastoral poetry, often portrayed as wearing boots and holding either a mask, a trumpet, or a wreath of ivy. Talia was also the name of one of a group of Greek graces and was worshipped as a goddess of things rich and luxurious. The name was used again for one of mythology's 50 Nereids, and she's also mentioned as the daughter of Hephaestus, a nymph who turns the ash from her father's forge back into fertilizer for new growth. Leda Leda has been an inspiration for generations of artists for good reason. She's the mythological mother of the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen. According to legend, Zeus fell madly in love with Leda, but could not seduce her away from her husband. Instead of appearing in his normal form, he took the shape of a swan to get close to her while she bathed. The result of their pairing varies, but usually includes Helen, along with twins Castor and Pollux. Some legends say they were hatched from eggs, and while there are a number of stories about the divinity or mortality of her children, Leda's encounter with the swan always stays the same. Leda's story was a popular subject in art through the ages, with artists like Leonardo da Vinci painting the scene. While his students' similar works remain intact, da Vinci's original interpretation has been lost to history. Fortunately, this beautiful name hasn't been. Moira As powerful as the gods were, when it came to the fate of every living man and woman in ancient Greece, that was the realm of the Moirai. Homer referred to the three individual goddesses as a single power called Moira, and it was these three who manipulated the threads of every life. 
The first goddess spun the thread, the second measured it, and the third cut it. This makes the Moirai some of the most powerful figures in Greek mythology, as they held life in their hands. They were responsible for setting people on their path in life, and their decisions were final. Choose this name for your little one, and you're choosing something that also has ancient Irish roots and a long, long history.